you know, thinking back to myself in the early years, um, taking on my initial clients, I hit, I was, I encountered a lot of friction and resistance. So, you know, where the, the reason why I got into this, I wanted to work a four day week. And for two reasons, one was I wanted that extra day to do whatever I wanted, whether it be my son, you know, mm -hmm. go to the gym, work on some music or just, you know, do nothing. Right. And I also wanted to let go of the rat race and employee mindset. So that's why I wanted to work four days a week. And that you used to pee off a lot of my early clients because I'd get questions like, well, our team needs support Monday to Friday. Why can't you work five days per week rather than four on our contract? Um, and I'd get comments such as, you know, we're really uncomfortable if you're not fully investing your time with our company or teams. And um, we're not sure if you can deliver what we're asking for you in that sort of time frame. And what happens if you start working with our competition, you know? And young Neil back then was just like, um, well, I don't want to work five days a week. That's why I launched my own company in the first place. Um, and you know, when I do commit to working with you, be it four days a week, I'm investing a hundred percent of my attention with you during mm -hmm. that time. Um, and you know, competition, yeah, fair enough, understandably. But as a freelancer, I don't want to be working two similar projects at the same time because that's kind of boring. But if you want me to sign an NDA to keep your secrets in the recipe book, yeah, happy to do that. Uh, and when they used to say. Uh, you know, we're not confident that you can deliver what we need in that time frame. I was just like, I'm confident I can, mm -hmm. you know, but I think over the years, the way that it's still the same today, but I can articulate it more refined 